Hello guys and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, I'm going to be within Final Cut Pro 10 and I'm going to be showing you guys how to slow down or speed up a video clip. So basically I'm going to title this tutorial the slow motion tutorial, right? But uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to slow a clip down or how to speed a clip up. There's many different reasons as to why you would want to do that, but let me go ahead and show you how to do that now. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and bring up the clip or piece of video that you're going to want to either speed up or slow down. So I am in a recent wedding video that I worked on and I am at one of the ending clips and I want to slow this clip down just a little bit to get a little dramatic effect as they're walking off into the sunset towards the end of this video. And in order me in order for me to do that, I'll need to select the clip in my timeline in order to let me know I'm, I've got that clip selected. It'll be highlighted in yellow or whatever color you have it set to highlight with. And then you're going to want to go up above that underneath the video player where you see the video playing back there you're going to see an option with a clock it's going to say choose clip re retiming options click the down arrow there and then you're going to see a few different options you can slow it down or speed it up you have two different options the two ones at the top here these are the ones we're going to play with in today's tutorial so if we go to slow and then go to say 50 percent it's going to slow this video clip down at 50 percent um, um, I already had this one slowed down 50% just to give you a better view, but if we play this video back now, you can see them now walking much slower than they would be, obviously, in real time. Now, in order to adjust the speed here, you can click the down arrow. You're going to see an orange bar pop up above the clip. This is going to allow you to quickly edit the speed of that clip once you've already applied the slow down or speed up feature. So what we can do now is we can change that to maybe 25%, 10%, or if we want to, we we can normalize it back to 100% just like that and it's going to show a green bar and now if I play the clip back it's going to show them walking at a normal pace. But I'm going to go ahead and click the down arrow here once more, go to slow motion, click on 25% and then if I even want to I can choose a custom percentage by clicking the orange bar and dragging it. So the highest you can go is 50% for slowing down and the lowest you can go would be I believe, uh, well there really isn't a low for, for slowing it down. but it, 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 once you get beyond the normal speed of the clip, once you drag it to the left, it'll then turn blue, showing you that you're going to be speeding the clip up. So blue is speeding it up, green is normal, and then orange is slow, just like you see here. So I'm going to leave the percentage to be about 40% just when I play it back. And as you can see there, it's slowed down a great deal, and it adds the nice effect that I'm going for. Again, click on the time clock here in the upper center of the screen and you can apply the slow down and speed up effect. So if I want to speed it up, I can speed it up by say four times and then now when I'm watching them, it's going to look like they're actually running off into space, which is obviously not what I want to do. So I'm going to undo that now. You're going to notice a few different things also in this toolbar here. Uh, I'm going to normalize it now, but if we go here, click the down arrow once more, you can actually go here and you can reverse the clip. So if we want to, we can reverse the clip, play it back and it's going to show them walking backwards now. Uh, so there's a bunch of cool things you can do to play around. I call that the time warp tool. Um, I'm sure there is a technical terminology for it, but that is how you get the slow motion and the speed up effect within Final Cut Pro. Again, I'm in the most up-to-date version of Final Cut Pro 10, but this should apply for older versions and newer versions in the future. If you have any questions on anything with Final Cut or anything about this specific tutorial, put those in the comments section below. I try to get to those as soon as possible. If you're looking to improve yourself and just to have a fun time, hit that subscribe button over on the channel. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. And guys, until next time, I'll talk to you later.